What's good, Sheik? Good morning to all of my damn um, T Talk gang, 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 gang. Girl, let me tell y'all something. One thing about it, and two things for certain, and I told y'all this shit way back here in September that Britney is no longer here for Diana, the Dancing Dolls, or anything that's affiliated with DD4L or Bring It. Girl, when I tell you, Britney told it all, bitch. Britney told it all. Let's see. The sad part about that whole thing is she really didn't tell it all. She still said what she said, but she held back. She had a lot of restraint because she could have went on deeper than what all of us know from the surface. And the sad part about this is, y'all, I've been said this shit. Way back September 5th, 2018, when I did my tea talk when um, Britney premiering her new team, the L.A. Soldierettes. And all of you dusty assholes called yourself trying to get me together in the comment. I mean, y'all talked about my hair. Y'all talked about my weight. Y'all talked about my hairline. I'm ugly. I'm this. I'm that. That's why black people can't get nowhere in the world. That's why this, that, and the third. All of you dusty assholes need to, are eating crow pie. All of y'all Dusty, bummy, disgusting ass bitches that called yourself trying to get me together with them weak, tired ass reads. All of y'all hoes eating motherfucking crow. Britney ass went on live um, on the 25th. I think it was after the previous episode of Bring It. When she was talking about, when Diana was talking about how she was disloyal and this, that, and the third. And Britney hit up Diana right after that episode and asked her, is that what the fuck she really said? Is that what the fuck she really meant? And I guess Diana, being a punk ass bitch that she is, you know, she could get in, she get on confessional, talk a whole bunch of shit. She get on camera, talk a whole bunch of shit. But when somebody that ain't scared of her. When somebody that she knows she can't punk and when somebody that she knows going to tag that ass real good, this is what the fuck she always do. She runs and has and she has, sits behind a computer and she has behind her fans. Girl, bye. D- them whole ass fans is the only thing that you got back and you up, bitch. Because when you was online, them the only people that stood up for you and that had your back. But when Britney was online, telling it all. She had Micaiah on her side, Michaela on her side, Cami on her side, Brandon on her side, Deja on her side, Tanisha on her side. Um, who else was up there that uh was up there? Jaylene was on her side, Mimi was on her side. <laughs> We all know Selena was on her side, Dana was on her side. So yeah, um So yeah, Diana. Girl, keep your fans. Them the only people that want you. Them the only people that like you. Them the only dumb hoes who's going to hide your back all on the grounds of, you know what I'm saying? You're doing this for the kids and you're doing that for the children. And Britney said, all right, that bitch ain't did e motherfucking thing for them damn girls. And I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. If Diana was doing right by them girls. Christiana ass would have been at that damn performance. She wouldn't have had no reason to have to go out to take a paid gig up in Michigan. But see, I've been told y'all hoes that. I've been telling you bitches that. I already did t- I told y'all that shit. Just the J told y'all that shit. I'm really glad that Britney came out and did what she did because me, Justin, and everybody else that's been telling y'all about how that mag mouth bitch is. Now, I really do hope y'all believe us. Well, I, I don't hope that y'all believe shit because, bitch, we've been vindicated. We've all been vindicated. I already told y'all, Diana want nothing more than a hood rat and cheap shoes, cheap weave on TV. I've been told y'all that shit. I've been said that shit. I've been said that shit. But I am glad that Britney came out and confirmed every fucking thing that I have ever said and have ever thought about Diana. Now, you bitches ain't got no choice but to believe me. I'm going to put the uh, description um, down in the description box. The description. I'm going to put the link down into the description box so y'all can see exactly what the fuck I'm saying. I'm going to put up Britney's and then I'm going to put up Diana. See, I'm going to tell y'all to think about Diana and why she's a punk ass bitch. I feel like if you felt like you did nothing wrong, there was no reason for you to have to go up there to address any fucking thing. If you felt like you was, excuse me, if you felt like you was right, and don't get me wrong, 
maybe the shit was played out of order. You know what I'm saying? Maybe production did put that shit up out of order just because they don't fuck with you. Britney said that shit too. Britney talked about how production really hate Diana, and I believe it. Britney talked about how when they first started filming for the show, how she was cussing at them girls, talking to them girls, and how production looked at each other like, is this big face bitch really sitting here talking to these children like that? Like... Britney told it all. She did. She, she told it. She told it all, but she still did it with restraint. You know what I'm saying? She did because she could have gone a lot deeper, but because there were other kids involved, she did not want to do that. And she was telling the other parents, and there were a lot of pa- Celeste was on the live. Um, Ken Janae's mom, Celeste, she was on the live. Um, and she was talking about how a lot of these parents bring their kids here to her. Thinking that they're going to be on Bring It. And Ritney, it, girl, Ritney was getting everybody ass together. Ritney done got the, um, the the other two teams together in a nice way. Because, you know, they really ain't really had that much to do with it. But she was just letting them know. If y'all whole sole purpose of being on this team is to go on Bring It, bitch, you can forget it. Because more than likely, y'all, this is going to be the last season to Bring It. It, it, really, it really is. I mean, it done given us everything that it has to give us. Now they added these boys that's how you know it done gave us everything that they have to give us. Um, it's sad. It's sad because it was a really, really, really good show. It really was. But the integrity of the show got lo- Like I said, the integrity of the show got lost somewhere between the third season and now. It, it, it just it, it started going downhill from there for the integrity of the show. And Brittany was absolutely right. When there's money involved, money is the root of all evil. When money is involved, money can change friendships, relationships, family ship, every fucking thing. And it has. It has. It has. I've always felt like Diana was nothing more, using this shit for nothing more than to buy that big fly ass house that she got over there in the ATL because don't nobody in Jackson fuck with her. And I've been through that. It didn't take Brittany. I told y'all. I have a best friend that lived lived in Mississippi. She don't live there no more. She that lived in Jackson for a long time, and she she had a boyfriend who had two nieces and a cousin, I believe. Um, two of them was on Baby Dancing Dolls, and one was on Dancing Dolls, or two was a Dancing Doll, and one was a Baby Dancing Doll. I can't even remember how it was now. But she was telling me all that shit then. How don't nobody really don't nobody fuck with that bitch down there. Don't nobody like her or her husband. Okay, I done heard all that shit already. And Brittany touched about how Robert was running around there cheating on her left and right. Bitch, I heard that shit too. I heard that shit too. And I can believe it because look at how her attitude is. Then you got the nerve not to be home. Then you got the nerve to blame these girls for not fucking your husband. Bitch, he don't need you to fuck him. He don't need you to fuck him. He don't need you to fuck him. Them bitches over there is fucking him. And quiet as his cap, Diana, you had a weak-ass porno, bitch, because I looked that hoe up and I saw it. Bitch, you're weak. You weak. You weak. And that, that's another reason why I feel like he cheating on you. How the hell you going to be up in the porn talking about something that you don't want your past to come up as if you really did some shit? Like, girl, bye. That porn was about as weak as your fucking weave is. Diana, I no longer have no more sympathy for you. All you dusty bras that want to be on her dick, that's just fine. All y'all bitches who go, I'm more than sure that's going to come up here and try to get me together. Talk about my hair. Talk about my hairline. Talk about my weight. Thinking that I'm ugly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get up here, want to say, well, she done did this for the kids. Get up here and say it's so sad. Black people don't support each other. Bitch, we've been supporting this hoe. Ain't no more support. We've been supporting this hoe. What did our support get us? Nothing. What did this? What did this? What did our support get them girls? Nothing. Nothing. Because if it did, Christiana wouldn't have to uh, not be around to do a pagan. And another thing that pisses me off the most about people. The camera can only use what you give it. So for Diana to walk in and say that she didn't say that Christiana wasn't loyal and this, then the third, bitch, you lying. You lying. We all heard it. Then you talked about how uh, uh, Cameron never did that, how um, Kayla never did that, and all the other captains before her didn't did that. Bitch, you said it. You said it. It just said you said it. Like, I will respect Diana a whole lot more how she came on that live and stood behind every fucking thing she said. I would have respected her a whole hell of a lot more. I would have. 
And that that's the God's honest truth. Would it have been wrong? Yes. Will Britney still have been mad? Yes. But bitch, at least you say what you mean, mean what you say, and stand firm in your word while you walk in your talk. Can't nobody make you change or waver your motherfucking opinions. That's what real women do. That's what real adults do. That's what real grown people do. Like me, I stand behind every motherfucker thing I say on my shit. I don't give a fuck who get mad at it. Bitch, you don't like it. Bitch, unsubscribe. Because I'm going to do do my videos with or without you hoes. I'm going to say whatever the flying fuck I want to say with or without you hoes. So whatever, whoever got a problem with anything that I have to say, oh well. And I would have respected you a lot better had you did that. But of course, you're not woman enough to do that. You're never woman enough to do that. You're never woman enough to do that. Ever. You're not woman enough to do anything upstanding. You're not. You're not. You're not. You have the worst fucking attitude of any bitch that I have ever seen in my life. I really think you're still bitter because of the choices you decide to make in your past. Bitch, you need to get over that shit. You say you forgive yourself, and that's another thing they get me. You always want to sit around here and hide up under the, under the God umbrella. I believe in God. I believe in God. Bitch, so do I. What's your point? What's your point? God ain't did shit about your attitude. So you can't be that motherfucker close to Jesus. You can't be. Because you's a nasty ass hood, right, Diana? I'm t and then I said in the book, she said the same thing. When people go up there to visit her, everybody always talks about how rude that bitch is. I done said that shit too. I said that shit too. I mean, that's just her. She's just she's just a nasty ass individual by nature. And it's okay if you just admit that. Just admit it. Admit it. You don't got no friends. You don't got no friends. I, I You really don't. And she's right. All you do is chill with the faggots. Them the only bitches that's going to walk around here. And any of them don't think they doing that just because they respect you, Diana. I am a gay man. I know why they doing that. They doing that to get some clout off of your punk ass. Because they know you need them. You need them to look relevant. You need them to have friends. I believe that. I believe that. Well, listen, girl, this shit is going on 12 minutes and I could go on and on and on and on talking about this wide body ass whore with a dusty ass track weave. But I ain't finna do that. I ain't finna do that. I'm not going to go up here and go to help the fuck off on her because I did make a promise to y'all that, you know, I won't go in on her this season like I did in the prior season. So, I mean, you know. Eh, I guess if I got to be a bitch of my word, I'm going to be a bitch of my word and not go off on that whore. Um, or at least I'm going to try not to. Uh, but girl, that's really all I got. I ain't got no more. Listen, I'm still going to watch this season only, on the, only for the support of the girls. But y'all, after this shit right here, don't expect no fucking sixth season. And if it is a sixth season... Uh, I probably won't watch it because I just like I said, the integrity of this show is for the pits now. It's for the pits. And they done done everything that there is to have done. They have. So um y'all get in I'm gonna put the link in the description box. If y'all have not seen it, I'm gonna put both lives up there. Um Y'all let me know what the fuck y'all think. Y'all get in the comments, let me know what the fuck flying hell y'all think of it, but girl, uh this ain't no good look for Dianter. This ain't no good look for Dianter, Meg Mouth, Big Face Ass Williams. It ain't. It ain't. But until then, Sheik, I'm going to talk to you later, girl. Bye.